Hey, this is Russ. <laughs> yeah, you know, I have some updates to give you guys. Well, two more new e-bikes have come in. Yeah, I got one in yesterday and I got one in today. So uh, the one yesterday is kind of an interesting one. I'm sworn to secrecy again <laughs> because the bike has not officially released yet. And so we can't really talk too much about it. But I will say this about it. It is a very lightweight bike. <laughs> All right. And... Um, Interestingly enough, it's about the same weight as the bike that I just gave away. You know, I gave away my mountain bike uh, to a family in need. Well, it's come back to help me out again because I have another bike that's about the same weight. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. So um, I suppose because of the fact that it is uh, a lightweight bike, if, um, if my batteries were to die out on it, I could ride that bike like a regular bike. See, that's kind of nice. Isn't that nice? Sometimes things work out for the better, right? So, uh, yeah, keeping that old bike probably would not have been helpful for me, but it will help the other person. Oh, and a couple people asked me, too, privately, if, uh, if I got any locks for that bike. And I will tell you that, yeah, I actually went out and I bought two locks for him. Uh, one is a, it's kind of like the Abus bike lock, if you know what that is, but it's made by Kryptonite. So it's, not quite as heavy duty as the Avis, but it also didn't cost like the Avis. I bought him one of those, and I also bought him a cable lock uh, from Master Lock. And the whole point of that cable lock is just so that he can secure the front wheel. And then uh, the other lock, of course, would be the main lock that he would use to secure the bike. So this way, the whole bike is basically protected. You know, now if somebody wants to cut through a cable, <laughs> they can easily do it with a cable cutter. But um, you know, unless they're, you know, th what this is going to do is this is going to stop the person who just kind of wanders by and sees a bike and says, hey, there's a quick release on that tire. I'm just going to steal the front tire, right? This is going to stop that person. But, you know, if a guy comes in specifically trying to steal bikes, you're not going to stop that person anyway. So, so I got him the two locks as well as giving him the, the bike. So yeah, hopefully it'll keep it safe for a while at least. <laughs> Okay, so this new bike that came in uh, that I'm sworn to secrecy again, I can't talk about it until after the official release of the bike. Kind of reminds me of like what happened with Magic Cycle Deer, right? Because I had that for a while. I just couldn't talk about it. Uh, but I will be able to at least say this because I'm not giving away any secrets here. It is a lighter weight bike that is about the same weight as that, uh, that uh, non-electric um, mountain bike. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad it worked out for everybody. So... Got rid of one, came in with another, okay? Now, the bike that I got in today uh, has a very interesting story behind it, uh, which I will talk about when I actually do that video. I guess I could tell you now, <laughs> so you can you can hear about it. Um, yeah, okay, let me tell you the story now. I think that's, that's okay to do. And then when we do the actual review for it, we can just do the review on it, okay? So here, here's what happened, okay? Now, you know that I've worked in the past with KBO, KBO uh, gave me the KBO, um, what did it call their commuter bike? Uh, <laughs> KBO Breeze, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you know, that was my second review bike, so it took a while to remember that. And, and that one went off to my friend uh, who wanted that bike so much, so I said that he could have it. So uh, KBO, and, and I have the KBO Ranger as well, which is the... Uh, is the uh, um, uh, cargo bike. I still need to do a range test on that. I still owe them that video. So KBO reached out to me and told me that another YouTuber had requested a bike from them. And this is called the KBO Flip. You can look it up. Uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description so you can see what the bike is. And um, KBO reached out to me last year and asked me if I would take the KBO Flip and do a review for it. And I turned them down flat. <laughs> I actually said no. And the reason was because I had so many bikes coming in that I just didn't have time to add another one to do. And so I told them outright, I says, I don't have the time to do it. It's winter is coming. I just can't, I can't do it. Plus it, it, it was a less powerful bike. All of the bikes that I have are, are pretty powerful bikes, right? And this one isn't, but it's not designed to be that either. So you have to kind of look at it as what it, it what is designed for you can't really just say okay this one's underpowered so it's no good well it wasn't designed for that just just like commuter bikes are not designed to go 28 miles an hour either right so uh, so but anyway i told them no so this is the bike that this other youtuber got and um 
and she she does a tra- a, tra- a travel well it's not really a travel channel she she lives in her van essentially right you, you you know people who do that right they they live in their van and then they do youtube channel of uh, van life right so uh she figured that if she got the uh the bike and also a rear car rack that uh she could at least put it to the bar- back of her car and then she could go uh makes sense right and and the folding bike uh is lighter in weight and everything so yeah would it would have made sense until she found out <laughs> She couldn't do it because first off, she needed to put a hitch on the car. Okay, um, I don't know whether she knew that or she didn't. I'm assuming she knew that. And then, uh, but she she has a ladder on the back of the car that, that accesses the roof, and the the bike rack would have been in the way of the of the ladder, <laughs> so she couldn't do it. So she didn't know what to do. So she contacted the company back and said, um, "I can't do this video. Uh, I'm going to have to return it." So KBO said, well, you're actually not too far from uh, Russ's right. Maybe Russ will take it. So they contacted me and I outright flat out refused it again. <laughs> I told him, no, I can't do it. And the reason is because there's so many bikes that have come in and still coming in that I still have to do videos for. I says, I, I can't take this bike. I says, if I, even if I were to be able to do it, you're, you're talking maybe June, maybe, right? So... Um, they said, look, if you'll take the bike, you can hold off and wait until June to do it if you want. But the thing is, if you don't take the bike, she's going to have to ship it all the way back to us in California. And they didn't really want her to have to do that because it, there would be expense, uh, probably on her part, not on KBO's part, because KBO has already paid for it to ship out. And it's not KBO's fault that she has to ship it back, so she would have to pay for it. So she said, they said, do her a favor and take the bike, all right? So here's what I told KBO. I told them, I said, look, if I take this bike and we already know it's underpowered compared to my other bikes, I'm going to mention that on this review. And they said, it is the truth of the matter. Do that. So it, that kind of shows you that KBO is willing to let it go the way it goes, right? They're not telling me what I have to say or how I have to do my review. They're willing to just say, tell it as it is. And she says, we all know it is less powerful than the other bikes because uh, their their battery is 36 volts, 15 amp hour, okay? So it's a 500 watt motor on the KBO flip. And so I'm assuming it probably doesn't have the power as like my Jaguar Rundi or some of the other uh, brands' bikes. So um, I said, I will have to mention this. And they said, that's that's fine with us because we know that it's the truth. It's the truth of the matter. This is how the bike has been designed. But what I'm what I'm surprised and happy about is that KBO is willing to let me say what I need to say. They're not telling me what to say or how to say it or that I can't say anything negative about it. And I've already found a couple of things that I think could have been better. But I think on reviews like this, you have to tell it as you see it and you have to talk about it as it's been designed for. I mean, you can't ding a bike because it's missing something because if they didn't design it for that or, or the market they're trying to uh, move this bike to it doesn't really need that, uh, you can't really ding them for that. You, you see what I'm saying? <laughs> so, But I'm, I'm happy to say that they, they at least tried uh, to uh, get this bike taken care of and so that the lady didn't have an uh, incurred expense and that uh, I can say whatever I want. All right. So once again, a KBO bike will be reviewed. But again, uh, I don't don't expect that that bike will do like what, you know, the 28 mile per hour bikes can do because it's, it's not going to be able to do this. But you have to also look at the fact, too, that that bike is like an eight hundred ninety nine dollar bike on sale. It, it's not in the price categories of these other bikes. So, yeah, you're not going to have hydraulic brakes. You know, you could have a smaller motor, 500 watts. Uh, even the power system is 36 volts, right? So we already kind of know that the torque going over a hill is not going to be there. So uh, <laughs> now, if this bike does what I I hope it will do, then that'll be a big surprise, right? I mean, if it's able to go over the hills the way I hope it will be, that'll be a surprise. Now, I did go ahead and looked at some of the re- reviews that may have already been done on the, on the thing, and they said that, yeah, it has some struggles going over the hills. And that's not surprising. So I'm not going to ding it for that. I'm going to say, this is what you can expect, okay, because it's an $899 bike. Um, so it's, it's, it's something that I, I feel that, 
you know, at least getting the opportunity to try it and, and tell it as it is. I think that's that's fair. I think that that would be a fair review to do. So I took it. Now, they also had a, a rear rack for her for the, for the car. OK, well, it's the identical rack to the Magic Cycle rack. <laughs> I think these companies buy these racks from from uh, whatever source and then they brand it on their own and then they sell it. And it sells for basically the same price that Magic Cycle sells, too. So she gave me the rack and she gave me the other thing. So I'm going to show the rack and I'm going to show the the uh, the bike together because I told them I says look I says can I just do it all in one review <laughs> do I have to separate it they said no just put it together you know it's a folding bike you can put it in an SUV but you know we'll use it to show what their rack looks like and if you're curious what their rack looks like take a look at the review I did on Magic Cycle <laughs> because that's the same rack it's just branded um, one's branded Magic Cycle I don't know if the KBO has a branding on it or not I haven't opened it up yet. But uh, I will tell you this about that flip bike, all right? Uh, the build is simple. It's folded when it comes, so the box is really small. I was able to just put it in my SUV, the whole box in the SUV and the rack, all in their boxes. And um, it's already folded, so all you do is you unfold the bike, okay? Take off all the packing material, and then you just have to attach the handlebar. That's two screws. <laughs> And then you have to put the saddle on. So you slide the seat right down the tube, lock it in place. And uh, you have to put on the pedals. And then you gotta, uh, you have to attach the wire to the front light. <laughs> you know, it's one of those push in, push connected things and it'll connect together. That's it. So installation of this bike or assembly of this bike was, I don't know, what was it, 15 minutes? <laughs> So it was very simple, a very small box that came in. So I'm happy to say at least uh, it had that going for it. So that's what's happening so far. Now, one more thing I need to tell you guys. As you know, I'm heading soon out to California. And so my videos might be sporadic in the next coming weeks. So uh, at least a couple of weeks. <laughs> so I'm heading out there soon. Uh, I'll put as many videos out as I can. And of course, I'll put out some videos as I'm out there. So I'll be in, in California and also in Las Vegas as well. We're going to take a side trip to Vegas. <laughs> We're going to hit up the buffets. <laughs> we couldn't do the cruise. So my sister says, well, you know, should we uh, take a flight out to, to Vegas? So uh, yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna do Las Vegas. Uh, we're gonna hit up several buffets, and then uh, then we're gonna head back. <laughs> so so I'll be gone for for a couple of weeks uh, until uh, so, I don't know like mid April or something like that. So um, I'll do as many as I can while I'm out there, but they'll probably be short videos. Uh, they're not gonna be you know a uh, uh, green screen with a riding thing behind me or anything like that. It may be just simple me just talking to you. Um, I, I, I don't think they have high speed internet, so I don't want to make very long videos and I might not even do it in, in 4k because, uh, it's a, it's a longer upload. I might just do it as a 1080p, um, just so that it uploads quicker on their, uh, on their home, uh, Wi-Fi system and then, uh, and then put it out for you guys, but I'll, I'll do what I can. All right. So keep watching. I'll, I'll, I'll put out as many as I can, um, uh, again, trying to, to stay with the Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday theme, but it may be only twice in a week, maybe, if we're lucky. <laughs> I don't know which of those days, but just kind of watch. You'll see those things. And then once I'm back, then we're going to hit hard and heavy with all the reviews because we got a number of bikes that have already come in, and uh, there's more coming, too. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah we're, we're crunched again, but... I guess that's a good thing, right? It's not a bad thing. People want my attention to do it, so I'm I'm very happy to do that. So uh, I just want to be able to get out and ride as well, because you know, like I said, I wanted it to be a riding channel more than than just a reviews. But um, we'll do the reviews as well. You know, we'll, we'll we'll sprinkle them in as we can. Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys next time. <laughs>